Jeff from Toddlers to Teens TV. Today I'm going to talk to you about um, the importance of deep breathing and the transforming effect that can have on your life. For many years now, um, over 10 years, I've taught meditation and relaxation groups, techniques and skills. And there isn't a week, rarely, that goes by that somebody doesn't tell me what a difference deep breathing has made in their life or into certain situations. As parents, um, we really need to know about deep breathing. There's many times that it can become useful. Um, we're running late for a sporting event, we're opening bills, there's a lot of noise, um, the children are doing something that's frustrating or annoying. If we're shallow breathing, we can go in there with a different reaction, a different mindset uh, and a different attitude than what may be needed. It really lowers our ability to clear think our way through and to, to think about what we're doing. Is this a battle I want to choose? Is this something I need to be concerned about? Is this life threatening? Breathing affects your whole body, okay? And so when you breathe, there, there's lots of different things that, that can do. If you're shallow breathing, you quite often, uh, you're telling your body that you're stressed. And so when you're stressed, your body thinks, oh, is this fight or flight mode? Do I have to get in and fight or do I have to run away? So you're ready to do either. So your reaction to a situation in, in a stressed way uh, may not be the reaction that you want. So how are you breathing right now? Is it shallow or is it nice deep breaths? You may find that it's shallow. You may find that your shoulders are tense. You may find that... Um, that you, your shoulders rise when you breathe. Shallow breathing really does induce that state of stress. And what I'm going to talk to you about today is two methods that I use that I find quite impactful. The first method is to be able to, three or four times a day, take three or four deep breaths and that will allow your body to overcome some of those stress situations. When we're talking about um, this affecting your whole well-being, I'd just like to read to you some of the things that breathing properly and deep breathing can do to you. It purifies the bloodstream, allowing detoxification to take place in the body. More efficient digestion due to healthier... So, due to increased oxygen, okay, reaching the stomach. Improved health of the brain, spinal cord and nerves. Skin becomes smoother and healthier with a reduction in facial wrinkles. And we can all do with some of that. Healthier, more powerful lungs, which creates more stamina. Rejuvenates the glands in the body, including the pituitary and penile glands. Allows the heart to last longer and work more efficiently. Fights against heart disease by providing extra oxygen to the heart's tissues. Relaxes the mind and body without inducing tiredness. You feel relaxed and energised all at the same time. And releases tension and reduces stress like we said. So you can see how it can transform your life just by a regular practice of deep breathing. So the first one I'm going to show you is if you put your hand on your chest and your hand over your belly button. And sometimes to start with, it's good to do it in front of the mirror because you actually see if your shoulders rise, which is an indication of shallow breathing. So you breathe in through your nose for four. And just allow your belly to rise. Feel your belly rise underneath your hand over your belly button and slightly push down. Your chest may rise a little bit, but make sure that's as slight as possible. And then you hold in there for the count of three. And then exhale all the way out for the count of four or five. And just do that three or four times, various times of the day. Also do that when you feel that you need to during the day. So again, if you feel that you're starting to get stressed, um, something's bothering you, or you just like to make a clear decision, somebody's ringing and you think, oh, do I want to talk to them or not? Just take a deep breath, just to calm your body down. The other method that I find extremely effective, especially in my work, I call it BEC, Breathe, Earth, Centre, Connect. So I use the same breathing that I was doing just before, and I breathe in first just to get that nice deep breath. And then the second breath, I actually breathe down to my toes and allow myself to feel the earth beneath my feet. 
And then the next breath, I breathe into the energy center behind my belly button, my life force energy. And as I'm doing that, I feel it become brighter and brighter. And then the, the fourth breath I take in, I actually feel myself connecting and connecting to my divine wisdom, connecting to my inner knowing, connecting to the sky and the stars or the universe, whatever is right for you. Just connect above and that will work. And that's amazing. The clarity I get from that, the centeredness, be able to get on and get focused is amazing. Now, breathing isn't just for children, uh, for parents. It's also for children. There's been many studies done um, on primary school children as well as teenagers. And it's alarming how many of those are actually shallow breathing by habit. And that's usually from the modelling they're getting from their parents. Also, being in stressful situations. And so it's very, very important that we get them eager, safe and confident rather than anxious, stressed and fearful. Shallow breathing induces ang anxiousness, it induces stress and induces that fear. So to allow your children to become more eager, confident and safe, it's about being able to not only model proper breathing to them, but talking about it, showing them how to take those deep breaths. Pretending they're blowing up a really big balloon, taking in a big breath and then blowing that balloon up in their belly and then breathing out and even getting a feather and seeing how far they can blow it. And that will create great habits for them later, for them to be internally healthy, for them to be emotionally secure and control their emotions, for them to be more focused at school and on their work and also on their hobbies and what they do out of school. For when they're in a stressful situation themselves, they take that breath before the reaction. A lot of our kids are very um, impulsive and react very quickly. It's generally because they haven't got that breathing. I often say to my eldest son, uh, you know, take a breath, take a breath, and it makes the world of difference. It also helps them to have an open and caring attitude. And the reason for that is if they're not in fight or flight mode, and if they're not preparing for a fight or preparing to run, they're more open and caring, more willing to listen. So that's my tips on breathing and the importance of breathing for you today. I hope you've enjoyed that. And my challenge to you is for the next week, try some of those breathing methods and see if it does make a difference for you. Or even if you forget, if you are going to react to something, take a breath and see if there is a difference in how you would have done it before and how you do it now. And especially if you're clearing out those toxins just through breathing, that makes a huge difference to how you feel, your energy levels and your well-being. Have a great week. As always, leave your feedback for us. And thank you and I'll see you next week.